You're on the air. <laughs> Finally, we get to Dallas. Uh, yes. Um, I just wanted to say, Howard, um, I just started listening to your show about a month ago with my husband, and my husband is a DJ for the United States Air Force. By the way, we've only been on the air in Dallas for about two or three weeks, right? Yeah, I don't know how she's been listening for months. <laughs> all right, okay, she it was two or three month. weeks ago. Yeah, all right. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. It seems <laughs> it's been, like a month. It seems like a month. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't think we've been on for months. <laughs> Give me a break. It's 6.15 in the morning. Hey, what's your vibe there in Dallas? You think it's catching on? Do you think that the people are responding? Oh, yeah. People oh, are yeah. talking it's about the show? great down here. Yeah, I can't imagine that we're not going to be number one by, you know, by half a year from now. Six months. Give me six months. i got to be <laughs> number one. Well, I really liked you on the MTV Awards. That oh, speaking great. of that, I got a cool tape. I got to play you. Um, Lauren Michaels had a press conference every year, Saturday Night Live, before they start their new season, has mm -hmm. a press conference. So we started talking about fart now. Really? Yeah. Oh, I want to hear that. All right, after we hang up on this woman. Yes. <laughs> so your husband's in the Air Force. Uh, yeah, and I just wanted to say he's one of your biggest fans, and I'm coming right along behind him. Oh, good. Okay, thanks. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. She had to tell us that. Our people in the military. Yes. Everyone is with us. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a very big movement out there. Stay with us. Yes, very nice. Anchors away. <laughs> All right. So they're having the press conference for Saturday Night Live. And that's where they, you know, they, they get all the cast and stuff up there and they, they talk to the press. You can see all the newspapers are yeah, filled with articles. Yeah, I don't know why it's such a big deal that Saturday Night Live is having a new season. Yeah. So I don't know. This is kind of weird. Lauren Michaels, who's the executive producer of Saturday Night Live. Mm-hmm. He's answering questions. You can barely hear the reporters in the background. They don't, we only have him mic'd, you okay. know. So, so this is what's going on. Are there any purposes that play on the Schnee show? <laughs> no, um, God, I, it seems such a long time ago. Um, no, I, I don't think so. She's done the show since. They ask about Sinead O'Connor. That's okay, what said. I didn't hear the name. Yeah, the guy said, what about having Sinead O'Connor on and Lorne Michaels? You know, you know, the reporters now, this is winding down. The press mm -hmm. conference is almost over, and they're already asking questions that make no sense, because nobody's going to, nobody cares. Right, and nobody's going to write this in any article. Right. That they uh, submit. So the press conference is winding down, and there's no more questions, and then Lorne Michaels throws out a final statement. She did the show since that time. And Jan Hooks used to do her on the show as well. So she probably have more more to say about that than than about dice play. What do you guys think of Fart Man? Uh, now he's asking questions. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just very strange. It's just very strange. It's like. Well, I'm just throws that out. Just curious. Okay. <laughs> what? Done? Okay. Hey, Lauren, I wouldn't ask a bunch of reporters what they think of Fart Man. Ask the people. I remember, Lauren, I kicked your ass for two years in the ratings with a $50,000 budget, and I can do it again. Don't you ever talk about me again. You're my dog. You do what I tell you to do. You understand that? With the Fart Man. What do you guys think of Fart Man? You sniff my ass like the rest of the dogs in Hollywood, Lauren. You understand? You lucked out with Wayne's World, but all you can do is dream of... I guarantee you no one will go see Wayne World 2. No one. There's a punk of junk, that movie. I finally saw it on the airplane. Hunk of junk. A hunk of hunk of burning junk. <laughs> you sit back and watch me do... You, you watch me make a film, uh, Lauren. Same way I kicked your ass on Saturday Night Live, I'm going to kick your ass at the box office, too. You know what? I want you to release Wayne World 2 at the same time Fart Man comes out. I'd love to see that. Yeah, I want to go head-to-head -head with you. Can they get that together? Smug a-hole. Don't you talk about me, boy. I'm sick of that, Lord Michael. Wouldn't even let me audition for Saturday Night Live. Such a pompous ass. Remember that, Robin? I do remember. I didn't even want to audition. Just wanted to see if he'd let me. You go hang around with Paul Simon. That's your buddy. You go rest a drink on his head. <laughs> Two little midgets walking around. Two little fidgets walking around. Paul Simon and uh, Lorne Michael. Two little rich fidgets. He seems like such a funny guy, too. Oh, Lorne Michaels, yeah. <laughs> isn't, he, isn't he got a great delivery? Such a, he's such a, such a wit. No wonder that show is such an yeah. incredible show. Yeah. Well, I discovered Saturday Night Live. I was the original guy, so I'm a genius. And they've been everywhere. I actually saw them interviewed by McLaughlin. Mm. 
the oh, yeah. cast of Saturday Night Live? CNBC, yeah. McLaughlin can't get any guests. He either he interviews Dana Carvey individually, the cast of Saturday Night Live, right. Lauren Michael. He, everything was Saturday Night Live because <laughs> they did one stupid impression of him. Yeah. Yeah, well, all I wanted to do is prove I could beat Saturday Night Live, and I did it. And that led to the movie deal, so that's all I was after. Screw everybody. Right, Robin? The one thing he's thinking about during his whole press conference is fart, man. That's a tribute. That's right. <laughs> that's a tribute. <laughs> uh, 